remember this. This was where the guys were running around with the stormtroopers outfits and another guy following them with a high def camera. I was telling people, you scientists do have fun around here at times too. It's not all serious science. They're making a, a uh, Star Wars fan. Oh, okay. And uh, they, they're, they're actually. Uh, Uh, yeah, some scientists, believe it or not, love really good music and arts and performances and stuff like that, along with sculptures. So they may have done this on, on your tour with yep. too? Okay. Uh, this is the start of the acceleration system. That's the Cockroft Walton accelerator. The very beginning. Basically, it's done electrostatically. You get 750,000 volts, if I remember right. Okay. And there are two of these. And so right now, this one's the one down for maintenance, Okay. I believe. And they, they should be running out of the other one on the other side of the wall. As you can see by the way it's designed, you can really tell anybody that's been into high voltage experimenting or anything like that, you can tell they're working with very high voltages there. Yeah, so uh, they actually add an electron to hydrogen at that stage so that, so that uh, what comes out is a uh, negatively charged hydrogen atom. So you'd have something to be able to pull or push it with, have a yeah, charge to work against. you have to charge it, and, and the more natural way you'd think would be to strip all its electrons and just accelerate mm -hmm. the proton, which yeah. is what's done in the uh, accelerators further down the line. But they use the extra electron for kind of a trick to be able to build up higher intensities. Oh. So okay. what's done is you have to load from this linear accelerator that you can run more or less continuously into a circular accelerator and uh, what's done is actually uh, you can put in enough particles to fill the ring once from just straight feeding a linear accelerator into that circular booster. As the other beam comes around you, you have the problem that if you're trying to bring the same charge in you're trying to get on the same path as those charges with magnetic focusing, but if you bring those into the right orbit, you're going to kick the ones there off. Okay. And so instead what you do is you go into sort of a, uh, uh, you go through a stripper, and what it does is there's a little plate in there, so the ones with the extra electron coming in here negative bends this the opposite way in the field as the positive ones that have already been stripped. Oh, so the okay. ones that are already there and the ones with the negative charge can come together and when they're in the same place pointed in the same direction, you meet the little stripper foil which pulls off the extra electrons okay. and you're left with just the protons and they can continue on together. And so in this case, uh, we run it of order 10 or 11 uh, uh, ringfuls okay. into the same orbit wow. with that trip. So okay. it gives an extra order of magnitude beam power. That's kind of like uh, that old joke of putting uh, 10 pounds of manure in a 5-pound sack. You guys put about 50 pounds of manure in a 5-pound sack, huh? Yeah, it's... Uh, anyway, uh, so the manure is the This is a place I didn't go on the tour. <laughs> well, okay, this is the other... Uh... Okay. Here's the other source, but you can't see it very Oh, it's well. rather dark, but it basically it's just a mirror image. If you actually can't really see much detail, it's a mirror image of what we just saw, only this one's actually operating. Yeah, no reason to keep it all lit up because that's not where the tour comes, so people aren't going to really watch it, but yeah, that's cool.